So should we have now self-realization, all of us? There are two conditions. The first one is to have full confidence in yourself. Those people who tell you you are sinners and you've done this wrong and you are all the time guilty about something, I have to make a very humble request that you should know that you are a human being, you are not God. And a human being is the only one who can make mistakes. Animals never think that they make mistakes because they are completely under the control of God. And gods never make mistakes. So only human beings are capable of making mistakes. So there's no need to feel guilty and to call yourself as sinners or anything. Those who call you as sinners themselves must be greatest sinners, I think. Every human being has a right to become divine. So please forgive yourself, forget all the past at this moment and know that you are the Spirit. You are not guilty at all for of anything. Just give up all the guilt. It's also a fashion to have guilt. Even for small, small things, you see our modern life has so many norms, like one gentleman was very upset. So I said, what's the matter? He said, I spilled coffee on my dress. So what is that? Doesn't matter. When the coffee is there, it has to spill also. Such a small nonsensical thing, he couldn't sleep for the whole night. One has to know these are all very, very simple things for which we should not worry our heads. And we have to get into that area where we will enjoy ourselves. So forget about it, just forget and just don't feel guilty. Not to feel guilty is the first condition. The second condition is that you have to forgive everyone. Now you may say that it's very difficult, Mother, to forgive everyone, but just think logically. Whether you forgive or you don't forgive, you don't do anything. What do you do? You don't do anything, it's a myth. But if you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands. And you torture yourself by the person who has tortured you is quite happy. So, you have to forgive in general. Don't think of each and every person individually. Just forgive everyone in such a manner that you say to yourself, I forgive all of them. And you'll feel very light after that, you'll see, you'll feel much better. Just forgive, forgive everyone. This is the second condition, that's all. Now to go about it is very simple. We have to take the help of the Mother Earth a little bit. So if you could take out your shoes for a while, not the socks but the shoes, and put both the feet apart from each other. Just imagine, sitting on a chair, anywhere you get your self-realization. It's so simple. Even in my lecture, if I have said something which might have made you feel guilty, please forget the lecture also, just forget it. Not to feel guilty is very important because when you feel guilty, you spoil this center here on the left-hand side. And this causes a horrible disease called angina. Also it causes spondylitis and many other lethargic organs diseases. So why do you want to have all these things just for a myth of a guilt? 
especially Australians are, I think, I don't know why they have a guilt, but Australians should not have any guilt at all. For what? You never entered into any war, nothing, you are settled down here so far away from the mad world. So why should you have any guilt? All right. So now you have to put both your feet up, apart from each other because left and right, as he must have told you, are two powers. One is the power of desire, normal desire, and another is the power of action. This one works for the desire and this one for the action. So we'll be using both our hands, he'll show you how. First you see, and you will yourself activate your own Kundalini. First you put your left hand towards me like this. He'll show you. Please keep your eyes open just now then, you can close later on when we'll have the real procedure. Just put the left hand like this. Be comfortable. You shouldn't bend or you shouldn't push yourself back too much, but sit comfortably. Be comfortable. Now please put the left hand like this. This is symbolic that you want to have your Realization. And you have to put your right hand on your different centers, symbolic of the action that you are taking. Actually it is non-action, but you are nourishing your centers by placing your hands on these different centers. So you put your right hand on your heart. It's very good. All of you should do it. Please put your right hand on your heart. In the heart, I told you, is the reflection of God Almighty, the Spirit. We'll be working only on the left-hand side. We take our right hand, now on the upper portion of our abdomen, on the left-hand side. This is the center of your mastery the mastery of yoga, by which you yourself can give Realization to others. And this center was created by great prophets and great saints. Then we take our hand onto the lower portion of our abdomen on the left-hand side and press it hard. This is the center of pure knowledge, of pure knowledge. Pure knowledge is the knowledge which gives you the full understanding or gives you, empowers you to work out the divine power. That's the pure knowledge. Then you raise your hand again back on the right side of your abdomen, in the upper portion and press it hard. This is again, is the principle of mastery, Guru Tattva as they call it. Then again you raise your right hand on your heart. Now you place your right hand in the corner of your neck and your shoulder place it back as far as possible. This is very important. This center, as I told you, is if in your body you get horrible diseases. Now turn your head to your right. This is the center where you have to say that you are not guilty. But this we'll do later on. Now, Please take your right hand on top of your forehead across, press it like this, and put down your head fully on it. This is the center. Who is this gentleman who's taken my photographs? Is he a what man? It's from the press. 
Now, here you bend your head and here you have to forgive everyone. This is the center of Christ. One window of that center we can call is in the front. Another one is on the back, where you put your right hand on the back side of your head, back side of your head. Press back your head as far as possible. Here is the center where for your own satisfaction without feeling guilty, you have to ask for forgiveness from the Divine if you have done any mistakes. It's for only your satisfaction. You don't have to uh, feel guilty about it or think about your own mistakes, just you have to ask God. Please push back your head. Now, please stretch your right hand fully and put the center of your palm exactly on the fontanelle bone area which was a soft bone in your childhood. Press it nicely, push back your fingers, put down your head as much as you can, put down your head and now press it hard. This is the last center. And now start moving your scalp with a big pressure. Push back your fingers, very important. Move it seven times. You will know why it's seven times and why it is so many times. Clockwise, slowly. That's all you have to do, that's all. Now, we have to close our eyes. Before that, I would say you can take out your glasses might help your eyesight. You don't open your eyes till I tell you. If you have anything tight around your neck or around your waist, you can make it little loose because maybe it might make you uncomfortable. If it is not making you uncomfortable, it's all right. So now you have to sit little straight, that's all, not too much strain on your back, but in a straight way. And now, please put your left hand towards me and right hand on your heart and now please close your eyes. As I told you, you have to desire for Self-realization, I cannot force on you. Now, here you have to say, or ask a question to me, you can call me Mother or Shri Mataji, whatever you feel like. Mother, am I the spirit? Like a computer, you are asking a question. Mother, because you have to become the divine computer. And the whole programming is within yourself. So now ask a question three times, Mother, am I the spirit? in your heart. Now, if you are the Spirit, you are your Master. So please, Take down your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen, on the left hand side. Keep the left hand towards me and both the feet apart. Please don't open your eyes till I tell you. Now here you ask me another question three times. Mother, am I my own master? Ask this question three times in your heart. Do not doubt yourself. You have to know that I cannot force pure knowledge on you. You have your own freedom. If you don't want it, I cannot do it. So you have to ask for it. So now you can put your right hand in the lower portion of your abdomen 
on the left hand side and press it hard. And here you have to say, Mother, please give me pure knowledge. Shri Mataji, give me please pure knowledge. You have to say this six times because this center has got six petals. As soon as you ask for pure knowledge, the Kundalini starts moving upward. So we have to just nourish the upper centers with our self-confidence. So now please raise your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. Here you have to say with full confidence ten times, Mother, I am my own master. Say it with full confidence. Mother, I am my own master. Say it sincerely and with self-confidence. I've already told you at the very outset that the truth about is that you are not this body, not this mind, not this ego, nor these conditionings, but you are the pure Spirit. So now please raise your right hand on your heart. And here you say, with full confidence again, twelve times, Mother, I am the Spirit. Please say it twelve times. I have already told you that you are not God, you are a human being. And if you have done any mistakes, there's nothing to worry about it. So do not feel guilty. At this present moment, you better forget the past and completely forgive yourself. Now place your right hand in the corner of your shoulder and your neck and turn your head to your right. Here you have to say, with full confidence in yourself, sixteen times, Mother, I am not guilty at all. Please say it. Sixteen times, Mother, I am not guilty at all. Now, we have to know that this divine power is the ocean of love, ocean of knowledge, ocean of joy. But above all, it is the ocean of forgiveness. And whatever mistakes we commit, it can be dissolved into this great power of ocean of forgiveness.
Now, raise your right hand onto your forehead across and put down your head on it. Here, as I told you, you have to say, Mother, I forgive everyone in general. As I have explained to you, that whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything. But if you don't forgive, you play into wrong hands. So please say it. from your heart, not how many times. Say it from your heart, Mother, I forgive everyone. Now, without feeling guilty, without counting your mistakes, just for your satisfaction, you have to ask for forgiveness from the Divine Power. So now please put your right hand on the back side of your head and push back your head as far as possible. Here you have to say with full confidence, without feeling guilty, without counting your mistakes, O oh Divine Power, if I have done any mistakes knowingly or unknowingly, please forgive me. Say it again from your heart. It's not important how many times, from your heart. Now, stretch your hand, stretch your hand fully, right hand, and put the center of your palm on top of your head, on the fontanelle bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood. <laughs> now, put it down. Put it down as much as you can. Put down your head. Now, push back your fingers. Push back your fingers. So there's a lot of pressure on the scalp. Here again, I cannot force self-realization on you. You have to ask for it. I, was, I respect your freedom. So please move your hand seven times clockwise slowly, saying seven times, Mother, please give me self-realization. Please say it seven times. Mother, please give me Self-realization. Now put the hand properly, this is a very important procedure, put the hand properly on the fontanelle bone again. Put down your head, press it hard and move it very slowly, clockwise. Now please take down your hands. Now please put both your hands towards me like this. And watch me without thinking. Both the hands towards me. Now, the right hand you put like this. Bend your head and see for yourself if there's a cool breeze coming out of your fontanelle bone area. Now hold the hand above 
not on top of your head, and see for yourself, bend your head, see for yourself with your left hand if there's a cool breeze or a hot breeze in some cases, is coming out of your own head. You have to certify yourself. Now bend your head, please bend your head, please bend your head, bend it and see. Bending will help you better. Now, concentrate, don't put it on top. Some people get it quite far away and move your hand all over to see if there's a cool breeze coming out of it. Now, please take the left hand like this. Put the left hand towards me. Now, again bend your head and please see with your right hand if there's cool breeze or a hot breeze or heat coming out of your head, please see. Move your head, hand. Some people get it very far also. Now, please put your right hand towards me and again with the left hand bend your head and see for yourself now push back both your hands towards the sky both your hands towards the sky push back your head completely and ask a question Three times, Mother, is this the all-pervading power of God's love? Just ask this question three times. Now, please take down your hands. Push both the hands towards me. And watch me without thinking. This is the first day which we call in Sanskrit as Nirvichar Samadhi, and in English it is thoughtless awareness, where there is no thought. So you have crossed this, and you have crossed this also. But it is to be established still further in a proper way. All those who have felt cool or hot breeze out of their heads or on their fingers, on their hands, please raise both your hands. Imagine the whole of Perth has felt it, practically. May God bless you. Some of you have not felt as bad, which we will work on. Maybe we must be thinking about something, I don't know what happened. So now we have to know that we have got the first breakthrough. But this connection has to be fully established, has to be fully uh, manifested within our being. So whatever we have achieved, we have to work it out in such a manner that we know what it is. I would like to meet you because I may not be able to meet you tomorrow, I'm so sorry. So if you can come now, I would like to meet you and talk to you about it. May God bless you.